Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about the end phase of testing lifecycle, which is test closure. So earlier we have spoken about different phases of testing lifecycle, starting from requirement analysis, then we have test planning, test design, then we have test execution, defect reporting, and at last we have test closure. So once testing phase is done, then here we here we go for test closure activities. So this is test closure activities, which is the end phase of testing life cycle, which we are going to discuss today. So test cycle closure phase is completion of test execution, which involves several activities like test completion reporting, collection of test completion matrix and test results. So once testing phase is done, then we have to provide some deliverables to the client, right? Once testing is done, then we have to provide the results to the client. So the deliverables includes test results. Uh, before that, we have test completion report or you can say test summary report, different matrix like how many test cases, uh, what is the test coverage, how many test cases we have authored, how many we have executed, how many passed, fail and how many defects we have reported, what is the defect, a rejected percent, what is the accepted, what are the different accepted defects and uh, test results basically. Okay. So these are the different documents we which we used to prepare before signing off our testing activities. Test closure is a document that gives a summary of all the tests conducted during software development life cycle. So test testing life cycle is part of software development life cycle. So these documents, what are the documents which we prepare in test closure activities? So these are documents includes objective met in our uh, test closure activity document or test completion report. So whether objectives are met or not, time taken, uh, what is the testing duration, total cost of testing, test coverage and any defects found, basically the test results. In other words, test closure is a memo that is prepared prior to formally completing the testing process. So this is test closure and uh, testing team members meet, discuss and analyze testing artifacts to identify strategies that have to be implemented in future. So once testing phase is done, then testing team meets together and they'll discuss and analyze the testing results like their artifacts like what went wrong and what we can improve going forward. Taking lessons from current test cycle, the idea is to remove process bottlenecks, the problems which we face during the current test uh, cycle for future test cycles. The entry criteria. So what are the entry criteria and exit criteria for test closure activities? So let's talk about entry criteria first. The execution of the test case is complete. So we, we go for test closure activities once execution of the test case is complete, once execution is done. And the second thing is test results are available and defects reports, defect report is ready. So execution is uh, should be completed and we report all the defects to the developer and it is fixed by them. So we have defect report is ready like all the defects are fixed and closed by us. Okay. So that is entry criteria for test closure activities. Exit criteria. What is the exit criteria? So delivered and approved test closure report. So we should have the signed copy of all the uh, approved test closure report. So once it is signed off from the client, so that means that is the exit criteria for test closure activities. Now what are the documents involved in the test closure? process. So test completion report is the important which we have spoken about. So test report is document that contains a summary of all the activities and final test results of testing project. Test report is an assessment of how well the testing is performed based on the test report stakeholders can evaluate, evaluate the quality of the tested product and make a decision on the software release. 
so all the documents when we provide to the client at the end of the testing phase uh, friends so those are very important to evaluate the uh, the quality of the uh, quality of our testing another document is test completion matrix so after completion of testing various matrix are collected to prepare the test reports uh, which i have already spoken about different matrix like uh, uh, what are the number of test cases we have authored or uh, what is the test coverage how many tests uh, what is the execution percentage and uh, how many test cases we have executed basically what is the fail pass or uh, how many defects we have raised what is the defect rejection so all these uh, different matrix we use which we used to prepare during the testing life cycle so those we need to provide at the end of the cycle test test results so this is very important test results sh uh, should be saved and can be produced along with the test cycle closure documents to support the completion of testing execution uh, completion of test execution documents should have screenshots so screenshots are very important for the evidence purpose let's say if you come across any production issue and we have tested in our testing life cycle successfully and we have evidence of that as well so that might be the defect because of some other uh, changes or some other activities or some other uh, functionality right so at that point of time we can provide our evidence uh, the screenshots to the the next team because we have tested it successfully and we have covered that functionality in during our testing so that is the use of screenshots database query results recording log files etc so these are the different uh, uh, artifacts we use, which we used to prepare as part of test results so this is all about test closure activities so if you have anything then please comment and please like share and comment if still if you have any questions and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this channel as well so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye